Hi, we are AIO Robotics, and today we received the brand new suit straight from the assembly line. It just came um, right from the plane, um, so I will show you today what's inside the suit box once we ship it to you. Let me open it first. So this is the open suit box, and you can see that it comes with a lot of foam. So let me first, um, uh, before I uh, remove the foam, uh, let me first remove the accessory box on the top. So this one here is the power supply. And now I take away the foam from the top of the SUS. And before you actually uh, take out the SUS, you have to take out another accessory box here from the side. This is the turntable with the glue stick and the Wi-Fi dongle. And let's open up the box um, for the Zeus. Here you can see the top of the Zeus. And this is the Zeus machine. The Zeus machine has an integrated uh, filament. So let me take it out of uh, the Zeus. So this one here is one spool of premium white filament. And there's some more foam inside the machine for protection. And here you can see um, the content of the SUS shipment that you will receive with the SUS package. Let's open the accessory boxes now. The first box, that's the power supply. It's a universal power supply. And the second accessory box, um, it has multiple items. Here's a little bag with a glue stick and the Wi-Fi dongle. Underneath, you will find the turntable. It is wrapped in a, a bubble bag because it's, um, it's temper glass. It's stable glass, but um, uh, still protected. And at the bottom of the second accessory box, you will find a calibration pattern. Let's power on the Zeus now. For that reason, we have to turn the Zeus to its back side. On the back side, we have four plugs. We have an Ethernet port, we have a USB port, a power port, and a power switch. What we have to do is we have to take the power cord, we have to put the flat side on the top, and put it into the power plug. Then we have to switch the power button to number one. Next, let's switch on the machine from the front side. Here you can see the screen of the machine and two USB ports right underneath. And here's the power button that you have to press. You start pressing for one second, it will switch green. And then after a while, after it stops blinking, it will stay green and that means the machine is ready. The machine is fully powered up now and let's mount the other accessory parts. Let's start with the turntable. The turntable um, needs to be placed on the platform. Uh, the turntable for that reason has three pins and they need to face um, the center of the platform. You just uh, put the turntable on this platform and it will automatically snap. As a next step, we will take the Wi-Fi dongle and place it in one of these USB ports. Now, let's take our first print with the SUS machine. First, we have to open the filament box. Here's the filament and let's place it into the machine. Here's a side door that you have to open and you see a filament guide tube inside this machine. You will have to take the filament here and put it into the guide tube and push it all the way through until you see it coming out in the machine. As a next step, you have to take these two adapter spool rolls and place it to the right and to the left of your filament spool. As a next step, you roll up the filament on your spool and then place the entire filament onto the stick.
In the end, you close the entire door. And now let's insert the filament into the extruder. Here you can see the inside of the Seuss machine. The extruder is in the back of the machine and we have to bring it to the front. For that reason, you press the control button at the right top of your screen and then you press the park button. Now the extruder comes to the front of the machine and you grab the filament that uh, came from the other side of the, of the guide tube into the printing area and um, now you insert this tube, uh, like the, the, the filament, into the top uh, hole of the extruder. With one hand, then you press this button on the side and with the other hand, you push the filament inside the extruder until you can't further push it down. Now the Seuss machine is filled with the filament and is ready for print. For the first print, remember to add glue stick on the surface of the turntable. Alternatively, you can also use blue tape. To start the first print, you have to press the print button on the UI. Now you have to choose between printing an STL file or a G-code file. The G-code file is uh, a, a pre-sliced um, uh, print file and uh, let's uh, just choose one of these files. This is a little keychain that we want to print. Um, you can preview it first in the UI, you can zoom in, make it a little bit bigger and if you like it, you just press the print button. And that's all you have to do. Uh, the printer will now prepare its print. The extruder head will start uh, to get prepared. As a first step, the auto probing um, technique uh, will be activated. As you can see right now in the machine, um, the extruder head will measure the height of the turntable and uh, compensate for any, any um, uh, tilts. Now the auto probing is uh, finished and the extruder head needs to heat up. As you can see here on the screen, the target temperature for printing is 197 Celsius. And um, yeah, the printer already heated up to 197 Celsius and now starts the cleaning process. Uh, the extruder head will extrude all the printing material through the nozzle. And for that reason, it swipes its nozzle over rubber material. Now the cleaning process is finished and the print will start. This is the final print now, um, it is uh, done. So here you see the final result, um, how it comes out of the machine. You can just take off uh, the, the, uh, the keychain. And uh, now we are preparing a lot more videos. Please post uh, on our YouTube channel um, your requests for, for any kinds of tutorial videos you'd like to see regarding scanning, regarding copying. And we'd also love to see your videos um, that you post with your experience of SUS and we hope to see you soon.